Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Today's video I want to share um, the February box from Your Creative Studio and it is floral themed. Um, I just kind of peeked in here. I didn't take anything apart, but um, let's see. Oh, that's really pretty. So this is, yeah, the February box, which is floral themed. Again, we have this really fun paper on the outside that we keep, you know, because that's what we do. So we're just going to grab all these fun goodies out here and check out what's all in this box. Um, I will have a link to the uh, website in the description box below this video. Um, yeah, save these. Put that right over here because we use those in collage and stuff. It's like a, a thinner um, tissue paper. And anyway, let's see what this box has. Oh boy, all kinds of goodies. Okay, that's really pretty. That's the same as on here on that little card. All right, so this one is, um, let's see here, it contains 24 sheets, uh, six sticker papers, six vellum papers, six art papers, and six pattern papers. So, and the dimensions are 12 by 12, uh, 12 by 21 centimeters. Let's see, I'm just going to slide that stuff over here. We can get that box out of our way. Um, let's have a look here. So... Their backing is really cool too. I mean, definitely keep that. You can use that for journal cards and all kinds of stuff. So this is the paper. Those are really pretty. They're fun floral, kind of springy, vintagey kind of looking papers. Oh, these are really fun. Oh, cute, look at the little bird. I hope you guys can see these. Okay, then we go through them again, I think. This is a little thinner. This, this kind of paper is a little thinner. So we have the same prints, but on a thinner paper. There's like a chicken wire or a honeycomb pattern in the background. That's really pretty. The little bird is adorable. Okay, yeah, this one is a textured. I don't know if you can see that on the back. It's kind of a texture, texture paper. So the same prints again, just on different paper, which is really kind of cool. Okay. Oh, I bet you one of those, that first one was sticker paper, I bet. So it said sticker paper. And the vellum, this is really exciting. They're so pretty. Now I have vellum, I can make vellum pockets and stuff. I never have any vellum. So I'm excited about that. So there's that set of papers. Beautiful. And what do we have here? This is BT0044. And it's stickers, I believe. Yep, they're like the see-through stickers. So those are fun. They're kind of in a like a stamp. Uh, they look like stamps to me. They would be fun to edge and use as stamps. So that's fun. Okay. This is BG0030. It says masking tape. Interesting. Let's check that out feels almost like a napkin or tissue paper to me through this uh, cellophane, but. Oh, those are fun. Those are definitely fun. I could see you could cut them in strips and then, you know, it's like a really thin tissue paper almost, but you could cut them in strips and it would look like masking tape maybe, I'm not sure, but those are fun. Those are cool. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, it looks like stickers. Let's see. Oh, rub-ons. Okay, and the little rub-on tool. I love rub-ons. Rub-ons are something that I hoarded for a whole long time before I could use them. <laughs> and then I found out that if you don't use them, they don't work like they're supposed to. Well, some of them don't. So we have the little tool. Yeah. These are fun. This is a rub-on transfer sticker SNP0003. And those are pretty. There's a dragonfly, some butterflies, and the pretty flowers. And here we have some more with a little bit of the purple in it. Those are fun. It's really pretty. Another little dragonfly. Yeah, those are fun. Okay, so we have those. And we have all kinds of stuff here. Okay, this is 
It looks like little tags and stuff. Let's just go ahead and open it up and check it out. Okay, so tied up with this little twine. We'll keep that. Oh, cute. It's like a little pocket here. Okay. It's like a little pocket, so we can use that too. You know, glue that right on a page and yeah, pretty. Oh, something else in there. Okay, yeah. Some little number stickers. I'm not sure if they're stickers or cutouts, but they're really cool. Okay, those are fun. Little uh, like sale slips, little mini ones. Those are really cute. Those are super cute. These look like some little labels. That's like a memo pad paper with different ads on them. So that's fun. My wheels are turning here. <laughs> what do we want to make? Oh, I see some different textured paper in here. Okay. That's fun. Butterflies. These are really fun for journal cards. You know, they have the perfect background. You can still dress them up, you know. I mean, they're pretty enough the way they are, but these are really, really pretty. They're different. I haven't seen these. That's a pretty flower. And the different fonts and the backgrounds on them, those are neat. This is from like handmade paper. It has the handmade paper feel. A couple of those. And then these are definitely like the handmade paper with the little fibers in and stuff, almost like tissue paper. And then we have some thicker paper here. It's got like a canvas texture almost on it. So those are really cool. Okay, and then we have uh, Land of All Things. Looks like little journal cards. I'll go ahead and open that up. See the packaging, I like to use the packaging, so. Okay, yeah, these are like little journal cards. They'd work good in collage too, they're thinner. All different kinds, oh, that's really cool. The shape of that's really cool another one like that. Those are fun. Another one. Mushrooms. I love mushrooms. And pretty. The daisies. Yeah, these are really fun. They're different shaped. Okay. We can definitely use those. Okay. Let's see here. Time Fly Series Bill Collection. So it's like sales slips. This one. Ooh, let's get this open and see what this is. This definitely has my interest. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like a whole bunch of little sales slips. And ledgers. This is going to be neat. This is fun. This is, I don't see a number on it, but that's really cool. And it looks like we have some uh, washi stickers and things in there. I don't want to open this one just to see. Well, let's open it. We opened everything else. So then I can sort it all out and put it where it belongs, too. Yeah, so some um, clear stickers here is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Those are really pretty. These little fun labels and things. Different textures of paper. That's always fun. A little map, a little script. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. I'm not going to open this one. So I don't want to break all those little flowers off, but there's a dried flower in there. And then there's little fun little cutouts and stuff. And it looks like on the back here, it looks like there's some like mini journal cards. That's really cool. Can you guys see that? I don't want to lose all my little flower ends here. I don't want to open it till I use that. 
And then here we have another pack of those um, clear, the what is it, like acetate flowers or something? Those are fun. Okay, and we're still not done. My goodness. Okay, this is a cling stamp, cling stamp, and masking tape. So washi 00025. These little envelopes are cute too, so keep those. Okay, we have some blue floral on this one. It's pretty. I like that it has a neutral background. You can use that on anything. Creative Studio, zero, this is a cling stamp CLS0048. And I'm gonna grab um, some scrap paper here and so we can stamp them too, so we can see. I know um, the last box, the sewing box one, they had some stamps in too, and the stamps stamped amazing. Oh, look at this, this is fun. It's like a flourish and a frame. So yeah, we're definitely gonna stamp these. Let's see, this one is CLS0049 cling stamp. It shows on it, I didn't realize that. So this is gonna be a fun little um, stem too here with flowers it looks like. Oh, there's lots of them in here. Okay, we have three of them in there. Okay, here, yeah, that's fun. Little branch of flowers. And then we have this little stem. Isn't that cute? The mini flower stamps, I've been really digging those. So I'm gonna grab some paper really quick. Set this stuff aside here, and then we're gonna stamp these. Uh, maybe just my scrap bin. Let's grab, let's grab some scraps here. And just got a little strip there. And then I need a little bit bigger piece of scrap here for the other one. So we'll just use some coffee dye paper. And then, oh, excuse me. Let's see, we'll just use some black stays on ink. And then I need it. A block. My blocks are icky, I need to clean them, but they still work fine. <laughs> okay, oh, now I peel this off, right? Yep. Okay, I don't know if I, it's not sticking, it feels like there's another piece on there. Maybe I don't need the block with these. Well, we'll try here. I don't remember. I, I, they, they're like rigid, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I got some in there. I don't. That's why I like using the block because when you have like a spot in here, and when you push on it to get the ink on it, then you get that. And I am going to wipe that out because otherwise, well, I'm going to try to. Otherwise, it's going to show up on what we stamp. Try not to get it. On there. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? So we have that one, and then let's see these. They should stick on that block. Oh, they don't want to though. That's pretty. Look at the detail in that little stamp. Isn't that amazing? Their stamps stamp so well. And we got this little one here. I'm just gonna try it with my finger because it doesn't want to stick on the block. Pretty. Look at that. The detail that they get in that little tiny stamp is just amazing. 
And now we have this one. And I, I, you know, they're brand new, so typically I stamp them off a time or two before I use them. So, but they're still, they're stamping amazing. And there's that little branch. Super cool. Okay, so there's the stamps. Okay, now what are we gonna make? Let's make something with it really quick. Hmm, let's see, we'll go through here. Just see what kitchens are. These, I really like these. These are fun. We're gonna pull a piece of this out. It's really thin paper, so we'll need to back it. Um, and I think actually I have craft card stock or something. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I want to back it with this because this is, it's a craft colored card stock. It's a little heavier than the copy paper. This is so thin. So I think I want to leave a little, a little border on that maybe. No, maybe not. All right, let's go ahead and glue that on there. I'm just going to use my Scotch Crate glue stick. So I'm going to stitch around it. So we'll get that on. Don't have to worry um, about it peeling up or anything when we stitch on it. So when I use my glue stick, that's I always like to stitch, just in case. I did order some more glue stick, and I ordered the wrong one. So I have Scotch brand. Um, permanent. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I really like the Scotch Create. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's get that on there. Okay, now let's trim that off. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Getting some crafting in. Yeah. I'm super, super busy. Told you guys about that. Um, just wanted to open this box with you guys and share it with you. So if you want one, click on that link and go grab it. There definitely is some fun to be had with all the goodies in the box. So you're not going to be disappointed, that's for sure. All right, we're just going to use walnut stain because that's what I have on top here. I'm just going to ink the front and back on the edges a little bit. Grunge that, or age it rather, maybe. So I'm, I have this video, I'm going to upload this video and then um, I need to, I still need to film the video that I told you guys I was going to share with you on my ideas, you know, with with my Etsy shop and that kind of thing. Um, I just haven't got around to it yet, but it's, it will, I will get to it. So before the chaos continues to begin. Okay, I think let's go ahead and we're going to stitch around this, but let's look through here. And see, I'm thinking like a little something down here. Okay, let's see, where are those fun ones right here that were different shaped? Those were fun. I thought there was some smaller ones. Ink this one. I love that the, the edges are, you know, not cut straight. trying to build up like a little cluster or something and now I'm thinking that it says Santa Claus on it um, 
we're just going to use part of that. Then I get two out of one. <laughs> Little mushrooms. Okay. I'll go ahead and stick that on there. Oops, I peeled that up. It's all right, it just adds, makes it look like it's aged. Okay. Okay, that ripped there, but that's okay. Looks kind of cool, I think. Okay. Now we have some flowers. See. It's very in the background, kind of. It doesn't get lost there. Kind of, I think. So maybe a purple one, or there was a couple in this here. Oh, that's pretty. I feel like I might want, let's see. Yeah, I think I do want that on there, but I feel like I'm gonna want um, some lace or something. I think this is a sticker. I, we're gonna try it for a few minutes, <laughs> a few seconds here to get it off. And then if not, well, I'm pretty sure it's a sticker. I just have no fingernails, so. I don't know if it's a sticker now or not. That's kind of cool, we could put that right on there like that. And if I have it kind of leaned off to the side, my stitching will catch it. Okay, because I don't want my glue to show through. I'm gonna stitch over it. So I'm gonna put it on the side there and then we'll see when we stitch it, it shouldn't come up. But I think the glue stick will hold it well enough, you know, to get to the sewing machine. Okay. My ginormous scissor here. I love it though. It's always my go to one. Okay, trim that down. Oops. I don't want that glue all over my sewing machine. Okay. okay. We could add that up there. I'm gonna ink the edge of that where I tore it. And we're gonna put that on the back. I'm gonna use it up. It's at the top. Yeah, I don't wanna do it upside down. It's just for a little, a little interest on the back. Kinda of cool. Okay, now lace or something I was thinking, but we could do, let's see. Just wanna see really quick. I'm gonna glue this down. It's sticky, but I always glue my washi just, just to make sure. And I'm hoping between the washi sticker and the, the glue on the on the sticker it's on the washi itself that it works. I'm gonna wrap this around. And then we have that on the back too. Okay. I feel like I need something down here. And I'm thinking that, I don't know, maybe like a cheat like cheesecloth or something. So I have a little tiny piece here or even this from Carol's Grungy Kit. It's beautiful. That's a little too big. But I just have this little tiny piece of cheesecloth here if I can get it to kind of pull apart here. I don't want it all clumped together. And kind of put that down there. And then what about like a wax seal? Um, just looking over here. 
or I mean, I have I have some wax seals here. It's got a feather on it, but. Oh, that's pretty. Let's try that one. Let's try that one. And then I have this the little thing of bowls here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's really fun. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac to stick that down. And I'm, you know, just going to glue it right over top of that so that stays on there. I'm just gonna put a generous amount on there and then it'll hold on. And now there's flowers on here, so let's see. I don't wanna stitch through that, but make it close there. Okay, now do we do you want a flower or not a flower, a bow on there? Oh yeah, I like that right there, I think. What do you guys think? It's backwards, but just see a little bit of that behind there. It's like a little cluster. We're gonna go with that and put that little bow on there. And I won't be able to stitch this until these are dry, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use black thread and stitch around it. So that's really fun. Now I think I do want to add some washi, some more washi up here, just a little bit. And I'm not going to wrap this one around because we have that fun little piece that we tore off the front that we put on the back. So if it goes off, we'll just trim it off. Or can we wrap? Yeah, we can, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We made a fun little journal card. And you know, actually we could put it on a page on this side, this side, and have it be a little tuck spot or something too. You know, we could have done the corner off of it, which would have been really cool. But, you know, we made it for a journal card. And then we can always add, you know, if we put it in a pocket this way, you know, it'll flatten. Once I get it stitched around and stuff, it'll flatten out nice. But we could put a little pull on this side or in the top, but you know, this side, wherever. So there you go, there's a really fun little journal card. So I didn't get glue all over this, so I'm gonna try and wipe that off. The best that I can. Okay. All right, I'll share a picture of it stitched on the end of this video so you guys can see it finished up here. All right, well, there you go, you guys. That is the February box. And like I said, I'll share a link in the description box from your creative studio. And I mean, look at all these goodies. You could make tons of little embellishments and, you know, fun little mini journals. Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe we should do that one day. Like a little mini journal where like, that's our page. That would be kind of cute, wouldn't it? You know, like that size. So, all right. Um, you guys take care. Thank you for watching. And... I will have a video coming up in very soon here, hopefully, um, kind of explaining you what's going on with my Etsy shop and my plans going forward. And just know that I'm going to be kind of missing in action here because I'm so super busy. We have, you know, the graduations and everything else going on. So, all right, you guys take care. Okay, I wanted to come back really quick because as I was picking up and letting this dry to stitch around it, um, I was thinking, you know, we need some purple up here. And I was like, yeah, this, you know, uh, rub on I think would work really good and maybe a dragonfly. So let's go ahead and we're going to cut those out of here, out of the rub ons that came with this little box here. And we're going to attempt to put those on there. Okay, so. Put that over there with my rub ons. Okay, now peel this. I got fuzzies and glue sticking on my fingers everywhere here. Okay, now pull that back off of here. Set this where we want it. And I was thinking like something like this, just to get a little bit of purple in there. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and use our little tool they sent along with them, which is really neat, you know, that they send along with. So I don't have to run and look for a popsicle stick or something. <laughs> Or my bone folder or something but it's fun when they have the little ones with so we rub that on there and now I'm gonna pull that off hopefully it's stuck I'm gonna actually I'm gonna cut this end off so it doesn't peel up you know because part of the rub on is hanging off the edge all right so we got that off there now get that peeled up might have to start from this side maybe and not the cut side. Pretty, look at it, isn't that perfect? I love rub-ons. It just adds so much and it looks like it was just in the paper, you know? Now where do we wanna put a little dragonfly? Maybe right up here. Let's go ahead and add that right there, I guess. It's almost dry, so I can stitch around it and then show you guys um, with, the, with the black thread, the stitching. Fun, look at that, isn't that fun? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch and then I'll be right back. Okay, so there it is, all stitched on. Just kind of finishes it off. And like I said before, we can put a pull, you know, on here or on the top, however we decide to use it. But isn't that a fun little piece to so tuck in a pocket? I think so. All right, guys, take care.